going on guys how we doing well it's almost eight o'clock Thursday morning I'm not in a hurry I've got five yards to cut we had torrential downpours last night for about an hour everything is soaking wet there's puddles as you can see everywhere in parking lots the grass is absolutely drenched and uh, hey I want you to see something I don't know if you can see it or not Two gallons of gas, six dollars and eight cents. That is complete and utter BS, man. And that's just to put gas in my tremors. Unbelievable. But anyway, uh, yeah, it absolutely just got drenched. There's the deck of the trailer. You can tell how wet that is. And, uh, Gonna wash this this weekend, do some power washing, get all the trimmers and everything cleaned up. I'm finally gonna have a weekend off. So, uh, I don't know, man, it's, uh, it's gonna be nice. But hey, I'll see you guys on uh, first job and lots to talk about today. See you there. Okay guys, you can tell how wet this yard is. I mean, it is absolutely soaked. 
I'm gonna come back down this way. And it just what I'm gonna do is the next two yards that I have on the schedule today, I'm gonna put them off till Monday. There's no way I'm coming out. I'm not gonna mow on the weekend. I'm just gonna put them off on Monday, do them Monday. This this stuff is just way too freaking wet. And this back is gonna be bad. So uh, I'll be back, well, I'll get this last little bit and then I'll show you the back when I'm done so you can see the tire tracks. There's no choice. It has to be mowed. It's not going to dry out by tomorrow, and it just is what it is. You have to do what you have to do. I'll be back. Okay guys, as you can tell, sweaty already. Trimming this was just unbearable. That's how humid it is, but I'm gonna show you the tracks. I hate doing it, but I mean, what's the alternative? I'm not gonna push mow such a big yard. That's a little too much work. And uh, they're not bad today, really because the 48 is a lot lighter but you can see if you come the other way looking at them they're worse but yeah definitely not what I not what I want to leave in the yard but man it's soaking wet I'm definitely going to have to skip the other two because those are the two where it's got that really nice front yard that you guys enjoy seeing striped on an angle uh, that thing is soaking wet I guarantee it and you're not getting a mower on it so anyway let's get on well my next one is the big property on the west side of Columbus on that that two city block Definitely got something to talk about today, and I don't hear too many people mention. I mean, I hear them mention the heat, but uh, what do you what do you do about it? You know, what's your alternatives? There's things you can do, things you need to keep in your truck, your vehicle with you, and uh, of course, this is not fixed yet. But uh, I'm going to be getting to the dealer today to do get the parts for it. At least I'm going to put every part in it I can as cheap as I can go because I don't want to spend a lot of money on it. If I'm spending over a hundred bucks, it's not worth it. So at least to me, some people, yes, me, no. Anyway, let's get on with it. Okay guys, I'm using, I'm using the F-150 
FS91 today. I'm going to head to the dealer after this yard and get me the parts for my other one, fix it today, hopefully. So let's get to work. Right, guys that's it um, out of the out of the seven I had two skips and three that I couldn't mow one didn't pick their trash up um, and the other two were underwater so crappy day not making any money for sure let me tell you one thing you got to do man when you're out here in this heat okay we all know you need to stay hydrated but I was talking with uh, Big Mo, and uh, you know what guys do, and uh, we get in this mode where we're working, and we're like, man, I'll, I'll get it, you know, I'll get something to drink here in just a little bit, I gotta get this done, gotta get it done, well, then we forget to drink, so today, I'm just gonna show you guys some stuff I leave the house with, okay, I leave with the towel, wipe my face off, keep myself cool, okay, I also have a cold towel that I put around my neck, that'll help lower the body temperature, okay, and when you're in the 90s, 100, a hat, okay, you gotta have a hat, man, you're, you literally are cooking your brain, I know you're gonna laugh at that, but you really are causing yourself damage when it's on your scalp like that I always bring a gallon of water every day don't go through it always but I bring it and I also bring a cooler a small handheld cooler full of Gatorades also and you guys are gonna laugh I, I it's coming Fisher Price my wife bought these at the dollar store they're antibacterial wipes. You never know when you're going to get something in your eye. You never know when you're going to cut yourself, scrape yourself. It's good to have them. I do keep a first aid kit, a small one, in the back here behind the seat. That's always good to have. You can get a lot of this stuff at a dollar store, man, for a buck. I don't even have to tell you what these are for. But... You ever get that, well, let's just call it what it is, swamp butt, galded, sore, swollen, you got to have the wet wipes, man, and you never know when you got to stop to go to the bathroom, and I always, until the other day when I ran out, keep a roll of toilet paper. Now, I know some of you are going to say, Doc, what the, what the hell, really, dude? But I'm serious, man. You gotta carry this stuff because you're out here maybe six, maybe eight, maybe 10, 12 hours. You don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what you need. And uh, God, all this stuff's good to have, man. So I hope you guys get stocked up, get it in your truck, get it in your car, whatever you're using for lawn care, get it stocked up and uh, you know, get things done when you need it because you just don't know. And I'll tell you another thing I carry with me is eye wash. But I will say these Toros, man, these things have been through the mill. They got scratches on them, scrapes, rocks have hit them. I hit myself in the face with that Matic. And the doctor said without those glasses, you, know, you could have lost your eye very possibly. A uh, very good chance. So keep yourself a pair of safety glasses in your car or truck. Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. Maybe it helped you, maybe it didn't, but something different. And uh, I'm going to go home, get cleaned up, and go get the parts I need. And as always, 
Dr. Real was in the house. Keep it real, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.